Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. This is my post-market wrap-up. You know, it's almost exhausting watching this freaking thing around us just kind of unfold. It really is. We got some pretty astonishing news today. I want to read this to you before I even touch on the market. So, this is what we just found out. I want you to consider, before I read some of this to you, what the narrative is. Okay, we have Janet Yellen saying she does not see, that she just doesn't see it, a recession coming. We have this freak, other freak, and some other freaking other freak being paraded out before the propaganda ministry, you know, trying to convince you how great everything is. Okay, with that said, let us again talk about I'm laughing. I hate doing this, but it's just crazy here. So we found out today that home affordability, this is no surprise to you, now hits another, another all-time record low, which single-family starts and permits cratering. Okay, who's surprised here? Nobody. It's over. Okay, I've, I've used this term quite often lately. With regard to the economy, it's over. And it's not just here in the United States. The global economy is collapsing. By design, period, the end, we're in the early stages. The early stages of some kind of a transition into a completely new system where there's going to be a lot less people to deal with. I want you to consider what I just said. There's going to be a lot less people to deal with. Now, let us move forward here. Here's another piece of lovely news. So the International Mafia Fund, Monetary Fund, the IMF, this might be, I don't know, five or six times in a row. They are now slashing their global gross domestic product forecast. Well, when you have an economy globally that is shrinking, collapsing, and cratering faster than we've ever seen, what else would you expect? You think things are going to get better? Well, the, here's a piece of good news, believe it or not. And I, to me, this is good news. So one third of American citizens say that an armed revolution may be necessary here in the United States because the corruption has gotten way, way out of control. I have said to you, I don't know how many times over the years, that we're witnessing the fall of an empire. Every great empire falls for the same reasons. The people lose faith in their government to provide services for them, despite the fact that they're being taxed up the wazoo. Okay, why are we paying taxes here, people, really? We're being destroyed. Meanwhile, we're being forced to pay taxes to a corrupt government. Maybe that's why we need an armed conflict. I don't know. What do you think? The fact that the people are being used as, as a means to an end here by the corporate agenda, uh, being forced to subsidize everything you can think about, even Big Pharma. Oh, yeah, you don't know that, do you? Yeah, we've subsidized Big Pharma here, and we, we're paying for them to make us sick, to give us medications that are literally killing us, uh, vaccines that who knows what they're doing, uh, but I think a lot of you have, have their idea of what's going on here. Um, it's a society in collapse. Everything is in collapse around us. It's, um, it's multifaceted. And all of this is just going to get worse. There's, and and, and don't, don't think for, for a minute yet again, that this is by accident here, people. Really, do you believe, honestly, let, let's, let's step, back, step back for just a moment. What do we know is going on? We're seeing global debt continue to balloon at its fastest pace ever. Meanwhile, we have the propaganda ministry, central banks pushing the narrative that, oh, 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 we really want to control inflation. You know, we're not going into recession. Everything is just great because everyone's rich. But that's the narrative, and it's just, it's just completely false. And I think everyone knows that. 
a food crisis, energy crisis, you name it. You name it and it's coming down the pike here. All as, as a method or multiple methods to keep people under control, to sell them things via fear and intimidation, whether it's this thing or whatever it might be, being forced to um, submit to the will of, of, of a government. I thought this was supposed to be a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. What happened to all that? Where's the outrage? Where are the people in the streets here as they're being destroyed systematically, created? People are being um, turned into slaves to the system, like I've been telling you for the longest freaking time. Anyway, look, um, so on top of this abysmal economic news, imagine my shock, imagine your shock here. We had a stock market today that fell in some pressure, especially tech. As I am doing this, Google is going to report earnings and Microsoft. I don't think it's going to matter at all. We have central banks continuing to pump the system. I just want to know one thing. When do you believe, let me know, when you think that the propaganda ministry is going to at least let people in on uh, the, uh, the thing that's going on? Oh, what is that thing? How about central banks? Not only are they buying it all, but they're involved in full bore, hardcore quantitative easing. That's what they're doing but you're not allowed to know it. Oh, no, no, no. So on the back of the market today, falling under some pressure, nothing major. 10-year yield, 2.8. Bitcoin around 21,000. I got my eye on that. I want to see it hold 21,000 for a few weeks. I don't want to see it fall low. If it falls lower, I will not be buying here until I see another floor, and I want to see that hold for a while. You understand? I'll let you know, especially if you subscribe to my free newsletter. Link in the description of this video. I blast things out to you guys and girls all the time. You'll know what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. I already told you I'm back in this market. Hardcore. Um, silver put on a gain today. Gold uh, got hit. Crude oil. Uh, actually, I don't know what crude oil did today, believe it or not. Uh, I forgot to look at it. Crude oil did its thing. But don't worry. Crude oil. Let me tell you something about crude oil and energy prices. If you think for a moment that you've seen it all, uh, you haven't. We're going to see um, energy prices continue to skyrocket as the war expands over there, as more cash is thrown at that war and any other war that's going to come down the pike. I think you are well aware of that, at least I hope you are, because I can promise you, you haven't seen anything yet, people. This is no doubt about it. Um, with regard to the dollar, I want to touch on the dollar real quick. The, the, uh, the relative strength, comparative strength of the dollar did pick up today. Lovely, fantastic. Uh, we're not done. In my view, and I've been seeing this for many, many, many months, and it's been spot on. You're going to see the comparative strength or the relative strength of the dollar continue to get higher here. And what is that going to do? Potentially, this has the potential to hit. Potentially, it has the potential, whatever, to, uh, to hit commodities here um, as well as gold and silver understanding that these things are priced in dollars and we're not talking about its absolute strength because the dollar's absolute strength is going away it's vanishing it's becoming extinct it's an interesting phenomenon isn't it its comparative strength is high but its absolute strength is is disappearing um and that phenomenon is going to continue for, for a while here with regard to the meltdown um in the dollar or the purchasing power of the dollar you have to understand how that's going to play out it's very simple if you if you can understand what i've been explaining for i don't know how many years now a decade okay how the how this works how the debt market runs the show and everything else kind of is a derivative as to what's happening in the debt market when the debt market eventually does melt down and it will okay we already we saw we saw cracks in it central banks jumped in here fixed it at least for now it's going to implode and if you can understand what that means is cash is going to leave the debt market and I mean leave it at, at, at an unbelievable pace that's going to melt down the stock market cash is just going to move into commodities commodity prices again based in dollars are going to go to the moon to the moon so forget about home affordability which just hit a record low um, 
How about the ability to buy even uh, a loaf of bread or eggs or, or, or things to sustain yourself? Do you see where this is going? I hope you do because that's exactly where it's going. And I think you're well aware of it. All right, people, look, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow we have it. It. You know what it is? The Federal Reserve. The government. We're going to hear from the managing department of the world tomorrow uh, and what they're going to do with regards to the federal funds rate because they really want to fight inflation. They're so serious about it. They're going to raise the federal funds rate 75 basis points tomorrow. That's my take. And it's really going to make no difference at all. But I think you know that too. But we'll talk about the Fed tomorrow. All right, I'm out of here. Love you a lot. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. I will read the comments. See you in the morning.